I remember my father said to me, you've got to love horses, you've got to love cattle, and you've got to love your country. If you've got the three of them, you'll be okay. I'm Adrian Spencer, Ironbark Herefords, Barabba, Northern New South Wales. What makes Ironbark Herefords so unique, it's always been run by the generations of Spencers, so, and, and it's been run by cattlemen. Around about 900 to 1,000 stud cows. There's around about 300 commercial cows, and uh, we've got a feedlot. They're known all over Australia, all over the world. I mean, we've exported genetics to other countries. They're cattle with a great reputation. The Ironbark Hereford cattle have taken me all over the world. So I, I feel indebted to them. They've educated the children. They've been here for us through the droughts and through the good times. So, you know, we're always looking at better ways to show that we, we have genuine care. What we were having trouble with in our operation was calf marking. It was the, the loss of weight, the infection from the wound and, and, and the pain, you know, and it take them time to get over it. But once we started using trisulfan, they'd mother up back onto their mother quicker. And if you go around the next day and have a good look the next day, you know, it's taken the, the pain away. You don't lose the weight in your calves, but the most benefit you get is that you don't get that infection. I think that's the one that's, that, that's the king of it. You might mark 200 calves, and then like it used to happen where there'd be 15 infected and that'd really go back. You try and ever make a decent animal out of something that's had a bad infection, it doesn't often happen, you know. But now, you do the whole lot, you just don't see that in them. I want the beef industry to use trisulfan. I want the beef producers to en masse use it because I believe it, it's a great display to our customers international or domestic in the cities that we're serious about, about animal welfare. If I didn't believe in it, I wouldn't be sitting here, you know. Yeah. <laughs>